Hey everybody, I'm Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, PowerShell Scanner is here. We're all excited, but we figure it's a good time to go over some of the gotchas or helpful things to, uh, if you, for uh, issues you might run into. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to talk about importing modules, because uh, if you're running the scanner, since it's running on that machine, it's going to have to be able to access that module on that machine for it to work. Uh, so I guess a good example of this one would be the uh, PS Windows update. I think you got that one. That one is not innately there, it has to be imported, uh, but if you want to give information like missing updates or, or history in a scanner, you're going to need to import that module. Uh, normally, you just do import module and then the name, force that will install it, but there's a whole lot of issues you're sending out to probably hundreds of computers, different variants, so we uh, add a little bit extra work on this one. Uh, so we first thing we do is we do a try-catch block. We have it in here with uh, the null, so we're going to see if the module is there. And if it's not, we're going to see if they have the NuGet provider available for us. Uh, <clears throat> if there is no, then we will install the NuGet provider. That gives us what we need to install the module. And then from there, we install module and then import the module. And that gets it running. Uh, as, you, as you see in, in the script here, we have dollar sign. Oop, that's the wrong button. Touchscreen works. Dollar sign null in front of all those. The reason that is when you get installed module, do any of these, it's going to put output uh, that we will capture and put into inventory if it's there. So we put dollar sign no equals, that removes the output, and following these steps here, we can make sure that it doesn't just assume it's going to work, it tests it, and if it doesn't, it tests that it has what it needs, and it makes sure you can get everything installed so you can get your module there. Uh, and then from this one, you can just run any of the one-liner commands that will let you know there's three. Uh, we have them in our GitHub repository, which hopefully we'll have a link in our description. I'm going to point like I'm this one. Uh, <clears throat> and then from, from there, it's just quick one-liners. You'll get all the information you need on Windows updates. Uh, what I'd recommend is we have right here the install and import module. You have that as just an additional file within the scanner, which we'll open that up now. Scan profiles. We'll just use one of the examples that we have here. Uh, get available Windows updates. And uh, this one was written by Nader Colby. I don't want to quote the wrong Someone that works here wrote this and it works really well. As you see here, we have the additional files that points to our module importer. And then the actual file here is the script itself, which if we go through and look at that one real quick, might as well since we're here, it really is just a one liner. It is get Windows update. We put it into a variable. Description says right there, you can read it. Give you a few seconds. All right. And that way you're getting the results you need, put it back there, but you're not cluttering up the script. So you can use this module to import any module that you want. You just put the module name, change that, and you can use that on several scripts. It'll save you a lot of time. It'll make it so uh, you get consistent results. Uh, for pdq.com, I'm Jordan.